Hello, welcome back to EZIL. Today is lesson 4 and today we look at the pie chart with time. And this is the topic for today and we have the three pie chart in three different years. So the structure that we use to write our task 1 is very simple. For introduction, just write one sentence, you just paraphrase the topic. For the overview, write two sentences, write about two main features, and detail, detail paragraph one and, and two, and you write four to five sentences, put in five or six numbers. Now we're going to write our introduction. Um, we're going to paraphrase the topics, the read pie chart, we can use the pie chart, uh, so we can use compare, spending, we can use expenditure. And we have like three different years right here. You can say it's like three different years. For the words uh, spending, uh, you you remember this one because in I am writing task one, you will see a lot of topic talking about spending. So you don't want to re repeat the word spend. Okay, instead of say spending, you can use expenditure, the proportion of spending, the percentage of of spending, and the proportion of Purchase spent. Very important. So I try to remember uh, these places. Okay, so now we have our introduction. The pie chart compare changes in annual in annual spend expenditure by a particular UK school. We can say by a school in the UK in three different years: 1981, 1991 and 2001. Also now we look at overview. For overview, you just pick up uh, two main features. For example, in pie chart, you, you're talking about the highest and lowest. You can easily see teacher's salary uh, was highest and uh, the insurance uh, was lowest. You can see teacher's salary highest, insurance lowest. Okay, so the overview looks like this. Teacher salary made up the largest proportion of school spending in all three years. Insurance accounted for the smallest percentage. Uh, so and you should uh, remember instead of use account for, you can say take up and make up. And uh, remember the prices. Now we go into uh, layout. And body one body two actually uh, there are a lot of way to uh, lay out body one body two but to in this lesson we uh, in body one we going to talk about the highest and body two we talk about the average uh, the lowest and the, the, the rest okay <laughs> so body one we talking about teacher salary and other worker salary because they are uh, highest and body two, we're talking about um, insurance, resources, uh, furniture, and e equipment. So, uh, teacher salary, you can see in 1981, the number is 40%. 1991, the number de increased to 50%. And 2001, the number decreased to 45%. Look at other worker salary. Uh, the number start from 28% and decrease to 22% in 1991 and to uh, 50% in 2001. So this is uh, our body one. For body two, you look at the insurance, the number is 2%, uh, go up to 3% and 8%. So you can uh, say uh, Insurance uh, start with 2% in 2000, in uh, 1981, and to 8% in 2001. For resource, you can see 50% uh, is go up to uh, 20, and then go down to 9%. The furniture, the numbers uh, go down. And then go up again. Uh, for the for the number go up and go go down. You we can say uh, we can use the we can say 
is uh, fluctuate. In IELTS task 1, you don't have to report every number on the graphs. So you can say the, num uh, the research uh, was highest in this year, uh, to 1991. Uh, furniture and equipment were highest uh, in this year. Uh, so now we're going to write our body one. Uh, when you write the detail body one, as I said in earlier lessons, you don't need to look at the, the, the graph, but only look at the, the layout over here. Uh, when you write down uh, the layout, you already have the, the, the sentence in your head. You already have like the idea in your head, so you just write your, the body. In 1981, around 40% of school budgets was spent on teacher salary. Okay. And then we say this figure rose slightly to 50% in 1991, but fell again to 45% in 2001. Uh, expenditure on other worker salary decreased gradually. You can see on, uh, three, on these three years, it decreased gradually. Over the periods of uh, over 20 year periods or over the periods of 20 years, from 28% in uh, 1981 to only 50% in 2001. I'm sorry, this would be one over here. So that is our body one. So now we look at the body two. Uh, the body two, uh, we want to write. In, 1980, in 1981, the proportion of school purchase spent on insurance was only 2%. Okay. However, this figure increased fourfold, fourfold mean four times, to 8% in 2001. And the percentage of spending on resources and furniture and equipment fluctuated. The figure for resource was highest in 1991 okay, at 20% and the figure for furniture equipment reached a peak instead of say the highest we can use reach a peak of 23% in 2001 so this is the entire essay so you need to write this down and read it a couple of times so that you understand how uh, I uh, write the introduction and the overview, the detail, body one and body two.